This illustrates the first step in the long division. I have a 2x cubed here on the top because 2x cubed times this will give me a polynomial that starts with a 2x to the fifth. So now what I'll do is subtract this polynomial from this and you see the x to the fifth terms are going to cancel. So then I'll have a polynomial that has highest exponent equal to 4 down here. Then after I've subtracted them, I will bring down this term here. And then I'll determine what goes up there. So this is what we've done. We did the subtraction. That gave this. Then we brought down this term. And now we'll put a minus 4x squared on the top because this minus 4x squared times this will begin with a term that will be the same as this. And so when I subtract, the x to the fourth terms are going to cancel off. So that's the next step. I'll take negative 4x squared times this, put it underneath this, then I'll subtract, and I'll continue the process. So this is what, what's been done. I took this thing times this thing. There it is. Then did the subtraction, and then brought down this minus x. So the next term will be a plus 10x because that's the right thing to have the x to the third terms match up. So now we've done yet another step. And now the final uh, term will be minus uh, 21 right here. And then I'll take negative 21 times this, and I will subtract it from this. And what will be left is something uh, which will be of the form a number times x plus another number. Then we'll so now we've gone ahead and, and finished it. I took minus 21 times this, and here it is. Then we subtracted. There's nothing left to bring down. And this, is, this polynomial has highest exponent 1, so we are finished. And what we can say now is the So we can now say that this thing here, which is this polynomial, is equal to the thing here on the top times this one plus this remainder term. And you see this has uh, this is has highest exponent 1, whereas this has highest exponent 2. So this is exactly what we wanted to come up with. Now, if you want to see whether you got it right, you need to multiply this out. So you just do the multiplication, and then add in the remainder term, and see if you really do get this. Because if you do, you're done. You got it right. If you don't, then you've made a mistake somewhere.